Okay. Stuck valve. The <clears throat> Clevis pin. That might work for something. And Very careful. Moving on. There's the valve seat. Oh, it moving. There's the valve. It's, got, uh, it's rusted. That's why it wasn't moving. The seat's not terribly bad. It's a little, a little pitted. All right. First step. Brake cleaner. Brake cleaner. Wipe off the excess. Quickly take your WD-40 and squirt down some down the valve guide. That stops the brake cleaner from sitting on the rubber of the valve stem seal and causing it to degrade, which will make it come apart. Wipe that down good. Valve grinding compound. Apply a small amount around the seat of the valve. Oh, the seat being the edge where it seals, of course. And you reinsert the valve into the valve guide. That moves a lot nicer now. I hang it off the edge a little bit so I can get my finger on the end of the valve stem. It's a little tool for Spinning valves, I cut for two dollars. You just spin it. When I spin it, I like to push the valve up a little because it, uh, if you listen, you can hear the, the grittiness of the valve grinding compound. It starts to smooth out after a few twists. But you raise it and then it gets rough again. It's a little more abrasive. But get the seat clean. Take it out and inspect it. Pretty shiny. Yeah, there's a few small little pits in there I can still see. If the valves are too badly pitted, you could do this all day long and you're never gonna get them to seal right, which means you'll never get it get it to run right. So there's a limit to how pitted it can be, and you can only do this level of work. This one's been lapped. Back 
back over, look inside to make sure the washer didn't come out. A lot of heads have a, uh, you won't be able to see it, they have a washer in the bottom that the spring seats against so that the spring doesn't push against the aluminum in the casting. Drop the spring back in, my washer's still there. The trick with this tool is to uh, is to not go too far. You need to compress the spring, but if you compress it too far, you won't be able to drop the retaining retainers in as easily. They'll fall down too far and they'll get stuck, and then you won't, it won't work right. <laughs> so that's something that takes a little practice. I'm still learning. Let's see if I can do it. Slipped in place. Show that. That's not working very well. Anyways, okay. Next retainer. Oops. In there. Back in there. I'm done up to here. And as I go along, I take my screwdriver and I just make a little scratch right there so that I know I've done that one. There's nothing worse than forgetting which ones you've done on 16 valves and uh, pulling one you've already done. So, what do I got? Two, four, six, ten to go.